The iPhone 15 Pro comes with some notable differences from its predecessor, the iPhone 14 Pro. While both phones are great, one may suit what you need more than the other. If you're eyeing the iPhone 15 Pro, you probably value Pro features, such as longer battery life, enhanced camera quality, and a more capable processor. There are some major differences between last year's iPhone 14 Pro model and this year's new 15 Pro, and those differences can influence your decision. For example, the 15 Pro is 9% lighter than the 14 Pro, and the 15 Pro debuted with an A17 Pro chip, the most capable iPhone processor, according to Apple. Additionally, the iPhone 15 lineup is the first iPhone family made of titanium. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's dive into all the differences and help you make the right choice. Firstly, you should buy the 14 Pro if you want these features. Shortly after Apple announced the iPhone 15 lineup, iPhone 14 prices saw a deep discount. You can expect all previous iPhone models to be a few hundred dollars cheaper now that the iPhone 15 is here. If you want the closest thing to an iPhone 15, you can purchase the 14 Pro. Aside from an upgraded chip and a few cosmetic upgrades, the iPhone 14's internal components are very similar to its successor. The latest iPhones ditch the lightning ports and sport a USB-C port instead. The switch to USB-C is mostly important to iPhone users outside of the US. As we already know, Apple first debuted gold-colored iPhones in 2013 with the release of the iPhone 5s. This design decision was heavily influenced by Asian consumers who associate the color gold with wealth and luxury. Shortly after, Apple only offered gold iPhones in Plus and Pro models, signaling to consumers that to acquire a gold iPhone, they need to pay extra for it. But that all changes with the 15 Pro, which is now available in Titan Gray, Blue, Silver, and Space Black. So, if you want to get your hands on a gold iPhone, you'll have to stick with the 14 Pro. Now, on the iPhone 15 Pro, the action button replaces the mute switch, but can still act as a mute switch, if you want it to. You can toggle between actions that can interact with dynamic island, like voice memos and camera, and run shortcuts created in the Shortcuts app. Instead of a switch, the 15 Pro's action button looks like the volume up and down buttons. The 15 Pro is in the first generation of iPhones to utilize USB-C charging. The Type-C charging port is very common among almost all non-Apple consumer tech products, so if you have a non-Apple tablet, pair of headphones, or smartwatch, chances are you have a small collection of USB-C cables. In traditional Apple fashion, any device that's followed by the Pro modifier is guaranteed to have premium Pro-level features. The 15 Pro has Apple's upgraded A17 Pro chip under its hood that offers increased efficiency and performance. Couple the new chip with increased RAM and iPhone 15 Pro users should experience smoother multitasking as apps can run in the background longer without crashing or lagging. Now the question is, how much better is the iPhone 15 Pro camera? The 15 Pro has an upgraded main camera with a larger sensor than the 14 Pro. Both phones share the same 48 megapixels pixel count, but 15 Pro users can change the camera's focal length, choosing from 24, 28, or 25 millimeters options. A camera's focal length dictates how much of the surrounding scene your camera captures. The 15 Pro also has improved computational photography features, specifically in the focus and depth control departments. With the iPhone 15 Pro, users no longer need to worry about selecting portrait mode before taking a picture. The phone can automatically detect a subject and change the camera mode to portrait. Additionally, users can change a picture subject after taking a photo. If there are two subjects in a photo, the 15 Pro users can decide which subject should be in the foreground and which should be in the background. So the question is which one should you buy? First of all, if you have a very tight budget or don't want to spend extra, the iPhone 14 Pro is the right choice for you. Apart from a 17 and USB-C, you'll not find any major difference from the other one. And if we talk about the A16 and iPhone 14 Pro, it's still the best in the market, competing every other Snapdragon chipset without any problem. But if you want to go with the flow like USB-C and can afford some extra bucks, then go for the iPhone 15 Pro. All in all, both are the best from Apple and you'll not regret after buying any of them. So what do you guys think about both the handsets? Which one is your favorite? Share your thoughts below in the comment section, and for more updates, you can check out our channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.